But let's talk John Cena. Uh-huh. What was he like? Oh, amazing. Great yeah. dude. Great dude. Yeah, he was on a, a Raw, so I didn't see him until we did like the mix shows. Um, great dude. Took the time to like really chat and be nice. Um, when I left, Beth, Beth had traveled with him and Cody um, a little bit. And she became very friendly with him. So after I left, I I moved down to Florida, moved in with Beth. So we went to Cena's house for like hangouts um, a few times, um, which is not what it looked like now. It was a lot smaller. This is when he was with his first wife, Liz. And he had this like cool little bonfire set up and it was like um, John and his brothers and Beth and I think Carano was there and we would just hang out and shoot the shit. Um, very nice, very gracious guy. So down to earth, but I can't imagine, you know, it's like, I just think of these guys like Batista, Dave and stuff going to public places, you know, he, they stand out like a sore thumb. So like those, those times to be invited and allowed in a place where he's at home and he's at peace and he's relaxing and like, the minute he leaves his house, God forbid he right. goes to Whole Foods, you know, he's bombarded. He just sticks out like a sore thumb. Like, right. you know, I can't imagine what that's like to not be able to like, just get, get some downtime. But um, in his inner circle, he's very, he's so great. He's so gracious, so great and reserved. And, you know, it was nice to be able to just shoot the shit and not necessarily talk wrestling and just kind of hang right. out with the bonfire and stuff. So yeah, Cena, Cena's, so down to earth it's so it's i don't know how he lives his schedule but he just is just that guy like i used to i think it, he said i used to clean bathrooms and i'll never do that again so that's why he got his work ethic and you know paid off and is just such a great dude in in, in regards to that too so yeah he was a good dude was howard finkel there when you were there who howard finkel yeah, Howard would do a lot of travel. So I mostly Howard. talked to him on the phone. Yeah, and I'm like, oh my God, Howard, did you hear that voice? voice. <laughs> I'll um, ta- I know it's your interview, but I'll tell you a quick, funny Howard Thicker yeah. story. So I'm literally in the ring, and he goes, you know, he's the other guy's coming down the aisle. He comes over to me, he goes, You're from Jersey, right? And yeah, he goes, I'm going to Seaside next week. I go, This was when I was in college. He goes, I work there. He goes, I'll find you. I go, Howard. It's a huge port. We didn't have cell phones back then. He yeah. couldn't text me. He goes, I'm going to be down there the whole week. I'll find you. I'm like, Howard, it's a huge boardwalk. You don't know what hours I'm working. I don't know what hours I'm working. He goes, yeah. I'll find you. I'm in the stand one day. I see just some guy walking over towards me. But from the distance, I hear, hello, Michael. And I'm like, oh. the voice. It was, it was the Howard Fickle voice. I'm like, oh, my God, Howard. Fickle. What were you doing on the boardwalk? Were you like in the game or something? Yeah, yeah. I worked in the, in the stands, yeah. Oh God, God. I'm, such a, I'm such a mark. Howard Finkel's here. Yeah. Yeah. Buffer Ray Dudley. I would have died. Buffer Ray Dudley, <laughs> Buffer Ray Dudley used to go to the, uh, the boardwalk yeah. before he was famous. Stevie Richards. A lot of guys would, would hang out in Seaside back in the day. But yeah, yeah, when Howard, when I heard that Howard Finkel voice, I'm like, oh my God, I'm such a mark. <laughs> yeah, where's my where's my camera phone? <laughs> yeah, there was no camera phones back then. I know, I know. That would have been great. Oh, sweet, oh yeah, he's a good guy. Dude. Anything you want to plug? Um, well, my um, my Instagram DDC Chick um is out there. I have Twitter or X or whatever they're calling. So that's um former Diva Cherry. So FMR Diva Cherry. Um, and I'm actually working on um, some new exciting business skills and events coming up. So keep an eye on my Instagram because I'm going to post it on my stories. Um, I'm kind of working on something really exciting I, I want to share soon. Um, so keep an eye on that. But um, other than that, those are the social medias I have. I don't have Facebook, um, at least now. So, but yeah, I'd love to hear anybody who wants to reach out. You know, I've got photos, I've got some other stuff coming up. So, yeah, 